All right, all right, y'all. Today we're going to be talking about gathering. Uh, everybody gathers. You're going to be doing it all day, every day. So we should just cover some tips and tricks and things to watch out for. So to get this video started, gathering is pretty easy. Uh, you can use your viewfinder or search the map, find yourself a nice tile, click it, and just click gather. Um, you will get a predetermined fleet here. Uh, you can change your fleet, and I recommend changing your fleet because they will automatically choose your top tier units and then give you just enough to clear the mine. So take away those T10 shredders and go send out some T2 shredders. And the reason you want to do that is just in case of a tile clash. So once you hit collect, you'll get your arrow and it'll send your uh, fleet to your target, but you want to watch your fleet just in case uh, somebody else is going to the same tile. This will happen for people who have bad internet connection. They will, you know, go to collect on the tile and it won't update the game, and then somebody else will go to uh, collect on that tile, and then both fleets are going to the same tile and they end in a battle. So just watch your fleets for a second, make sure that they're not going to hit another fleet. Um, if you do send a fleet out, then somebody will probably defend the tile and you will have all of your units killed. So that's why we send out the level 2 troops instead of the level 10 uh, shredders. Also your level 2 shredders give the best load per cost to build the units, so that's uh, the best troop if you want to just spend very little and get a good gathering fleet. Those level 2 shredders. So these tips are good for individual mines, but there's also Alliance Elite Mines. There's a couple things to note on these Alliance Elite Mines. Five people can gather together, so if somebody attacks your Elite Mine, all five of your fleets will join in the defense. Uh, this is a good thing and a bad thing, because people like to hunt the Elite Mines to get good points for Void and KE but it's kind of more protected because people usually don't attack elite mines. They assume that the entire alliance will get the notification and defend it, so you're probably off, or probably better off in your own elite mines than on the random mines on the map. Um, elite mines can be shared by two alliances if they both put a flag on it, so be careful. If you go to gather, it will just tell you that you're gathering, but you'll actually initiate an attack so uh, if somebody puts a flag on your elite mine, I would go destroy their flag. Uh, other than that, the elite mines are better because they hold more resources. So if nobody else is on the elite mine with you, then you can be gathering for longer periods of time. This is good for if you have to go to work or overnight, you'll want to be using these elite mines. I like to use the small mines during the day when I'm going to be checking my phone and then put my fleets in the elite mines overnight so they can gather for longer. And just like the regular mines, the elite mines have levels, so the closer to the center of the map that you are, the higher level your elite mine will be and the more resources it will hold for you and your teammates. Uh, the elite mines, once they are empty, they are depleted and they have a cooldown period. There is an alliance skill called, I think it's mine reset, so once you have, you know, like 10 depleted steel mines, you want to use your alliance skill and that will instantly put all those steel mines or whatever resource you choose right back on the map. This is awesome for like your strongest commander gathering day. Another fun little tip is if you check your mine that you're gathering on, you will get a notice of how much you have gathered. So for your daily quests, you have to get a certain amount of each mineral. I think it's five, 10, and 25,000. So as you can see, I'm one off. So I would not want to recall my troops yet. Uh, I just want to wait one more mineral and then I would get my daily quest completed. Let's talk about the other bonuses we can do. Your director officers can be given skills. We can increase our gather speed for certain resources, or we can increase our load so you send less troops to gather more. 
load is also important if you're raiding cities because then you can clear a city faster. Uh, the other bonus you can do is a gather speed bonus. Um, these can be gotten from the black market or you can buy them, but they will also add a bonus. You can also do, this isn't gathering, but you can do production bonuses, kind of like that processing skill, and those will um, increase your city output, uh, not your gather speed. But I wanted to show that all these bonuses are additive, they don't multiply. So when you put your officer on or your gather speed bonus on, it adds the bonus. So if you already have 200% and you're getting a 15% bonus, it's 215, not 230 afterwards. Uh, another thing that I wanted to investigate was how the officers work with applying them. Uh, if you know already, then if you put on your officers before you upgrade buildings or recruit troops, you'll get a time uh, bonus. So how does that work with the gathering? So I did four separate scenarios. The proof is just being sped along in the background, so you don't have to watch what I did for 15 minutes, but the results are in the table. If we're going after a 300k oil field, if you have Medici on while you send the fleet, you'll get 4 hours and 27 minutes. If you don't have your Medici on, then it takes off 12 minutes. If you send the fleet and then add Medici before the fleet hits the mine, then you'll still get the full benefit. And then if you remove Medici while your fleet is en route, yeah, I got a weird result where it only took three minutes off. I might have to test that a little bit more, but I just wanted to kind of show that you should put your officers on before your fleet hits the tile to get the bonus. Alright everybody, I think that's it for today. Be safe out there, and remember this is a game, so have fun. And as always, the shameless plug at the end of the video, if you guys wouldn't mind liking the video, sharing it, subscribing, leaving a comment, whatever you can do to help me out. Hope you liked it, and I hope you learned something.